just to remind you, this earnings season, we are getting you companies that uh, uh, are missed out by the market because they are small and not very much in the news, but they have uh, rendered outstanding performance for two quarters in a row. Varinder Bansal does the seeding and the selection for us. Varinder, what do you have for us today? Well, I have a company by the name of Subex. You know, this quarter was really a turnaround uh, for this company. Look at these numbers coming for this company for quarter two. A net profit of 15.6 crores compared to a loss of 4.7 crores. Total income was up 8.5% for this company on a sequential basis. Never, never seen this kind of uh, you know, income moving up for Subex for a long time. The company reported a positive EBITDA of nearly 19.4 crores compared to an EBITDA loss of 1.4 crores and hence the EBITDA margins on a consolidated basis was 24.3% versus the negative EBITDA margin earlier. <coughs> So not only the income growth of that 8.2% helped the company, but also the consolidated expenses this time were down 19%. The market cap is around 280 crores. So for the first half, they have done a profit of 10.5 crores. So it's not a cheap stock, but uh, the numbers which are coming are, are, you know, are really a turnaround. The most important thing, of course, as everyone says, uh, to watch out in Subex is the outstanding FCCB, the debt of the company. But it was good to see that in the balance sheet, the long-term debt has come down to 4.408 crores in September 2015 compared to 525. So it has gone down by nearly 120, uh, 120 crores. The total receivables also has gone down, which is a good thing, to 364 crores compared to 530 crores in March 2015. You know, uh, the problem for this company started you know, uh, in 2012 when they had an outstanding FCCB of nearly 91 uh, million dollars. In the last you know, uh, year, uh, they have converted nearly 30 million FCCB and in the last quarter itself, nearly 50 million FCCB has been converted. So keep a close eye on what happens with the, with the FCCB because it's a large amount, still 400 crores outstanding. So that could be crucial uh, to watch out for, uh, you know, for this company. But if you're looking at the numbers, clearly a turnaround seen in quarter two for Subix. All right, Varinder, thanks for that. So that's the earnings pataka from our very own research pataka, Varinder Bansal. But let's uh, point out a couple of stocks that are